All right, hello there. So today we are going to review the uh, virtual reality training um, program for the MX, MX crushers. So let's see how it, how it looks like and what you can actually do with it. All right, so here we can see the MX in, an, in the uh, actual uh, quarry atmosphere. And uh, before checking into a, into a detail with an MX, MX cone, let's take a peek, a peek around what we actually have here. So a lot of screens, conveyors, some, uh, some surge hoppers to, to balance the flow in the, in the quarry. And uh, for example, on this side, the primary, primary stage, and uh, looking at the, at the cone itself, so we can get an idea on, on the sizing of the, of the crusher, on what kind of structures it is actually, actually on, and, uh, and what kind of uh, conveyors and uh, units new, you need to, to make it work. So here we can see an exported view of the crusher, so to get an idea on what kind of and how many parts it actually uh, consists of. And uh, we can jump around a bit to take a closer look on the individual parts. So for example, here we have the, have the motor running the crusher and we can take a look inside the lower frame and see all the wear protection and then the lining, for example, in the, in the hopper. So here we can actually take a look inside the, inside the crusher frame. So the main frame here um, also some wear protection, the main shaft inside which the piston is actually actually moving in and even the, even the counter weights, weights here. And we can actually take a look inside and see even see on what kind of parts this actually consists of. We have a section view on the, on the MX, so we can see how the, how the cross section of the, of the parts actually look like. We will start the process and you can see some some rock material going going through the through the crusher. Well, this is a good one to understand how the how the rock is actually flowing flowing through here between the head and the and the bowl liner and getting getting crushed down. What we can also do is uh, check how this piston contributes when there's something uncrushable going into the into the crusher. And there you can see like a excavated pocket claw or something like that, that going through. So as you can see, here it goes, the piston goes down, this one drops off and, uh, and the piston goes back to return to the original, original setting. All right, thanks for watching.